What's up comic book readers? Welcome to Too Many Comics, I'm your host Eric and today we are taking a look at a title published by Titan Comics. Bloodborne, The Death of Sleep, the first volume of what is now an ongoing series written by Alice Scott with art by Piotr Kowalski. Based on the well acclaimed From Software video game, this four part story introduces us to a nameless hunter who is living in a never ending nightmare trying to find a way out and breaking the cycle. For this, he seeks pale blood to transcend the hunt. The protagonist who has been through the motion so many times is introduced to a child hunter bearing pale blood. The hunter will become the protector of this young boy and as a pair they will seek the end of the cycle as the bond between them will grow deeper leading to difficult decisions. From a writing perspective, what really gives an edge to this book and allows the reader to truly capture the feel of Bloodborne is that Kot took some of the core game mechanics unique to the Souls series and made them part of the fiction. A good example of this is Insight. In the game, Insight is a stat that governs the amount of inhuman knowledge that you have acquired by exploring the game. In some way, the more you know the crazier you are and more things you see and hear. In the book, the hunter child sees a creature known as Amygdala while the main character doesn't, letting us know this child is very knowledgeable and probably has been through a lot. The tale is also written in a very minimalistic way, letting the imagery guide the story with well laid out action scenes reminiscing the harshness and difficulty of the game. Kowalski's drawing also really helps elevating the series with its detailed artwork proper to the gothic Victorian setting of the game. For those not familiar with the Souls games, they offer a very dark and ominous atmosphere. In Bloodborne, the main influence is a Japanese twist to Lovecraftian mythos. From the grotesque monstrosities, the epic sceneries, to the seldom use of over-the-top gore during battle sequences, Bloodborne The Death of Sleep really gives this world a second breath. In the end, this is a very enjoyable read for any Bloodborne and From Software fan as it gives more about the lore of the game and gives another reason to dig into the setting. And while it might be less appealing to people not familiar with the source material, there is a lot to like about this book, as the writer made sure the whole story was self-contained. Well, this is it for this video, and until next time, keep on reading.